ever dreamed of coding your own AI assistant, building a machine that learns and talks with you? This is actually the future of coding and it's happening now. In this particular video, we'll craft our own AI companion using the power of Python, Streamlit, and cutting edge library like OpenAI. No keyboards, no scripts, just conversation. Get ready to build your own AI voice assistant that listens, thinks, and answers back. Buckle up guys, it's gonna be mind blowing. In this particular video, we'll use Python, the coding language that's widely used around the world. Then we'll throw in some open AI magic with models like Whisper, Text-to-Speech, and Text Da Vinci. Sounds confusing? Don't worry, we'll break it down like a pizza and eat it too probably, okay? So grab up your laptops, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to say, hey, I'm ready to take up this challenge because this project is gonna be epic, okay? All right, so first of all, let's try to see the demo of this project, okay? First of all, the user has to provide in with their API key. So if I just try to paste my API key inside of like API key configuration tab, and when I will be finished, so the recorder will appear after the API key has been successfully posted, okay? So if I just try to record my audio, okay? So if I just uh, click this button and if I say, hello AI, how are you doing? Hello, I am just a computer program, so I don't have feelings, but I'm here and ready to help you. How can I assist you today? So there is actually an autoplay feature, just like in different voice assistants like Siri or like Amazon Alexa, okay? Then we have like a beautiful audio transcription card, which uh, actually transcribes the voice that user prompts the model with, okay? And then we have like an AI response in the form of text as well. Like if the user wants to copy it somewhere else, they can do that as well. So if I just try to give it another example, like, hello AI, can you please tell me what's the difference between euro and pound? So this is our audio transcription, okay? Now it will autoplay the audio once it's generated actually. The euro and the pound are both currencies used in Europe, but they are from different countries and have different exchange rates. The euro is the official currency of the eurozone, which consists of 19 of the 27 European Union countries. The pound also known as the British Pound, is the official currency of the United Kingdom. The exchange rate between the two currencies fluctuates based on various economic factors. Additionally, the symbols used for the two currencies are different, with the euro symbol being euro and the pound symbol being pounds. So all right, that's the project. So let's just try to see how to make this amazing application in Streamlit, okay? All right, so as we have seen the demo of this project, so let's just try to see how to set up this project quickly, okay? So I have like created a new folder, which is named as AI Voice Assistant, okay? And I opened it up inside of VS Code. And in there, I have one file, which is like API.py, in which I have my OpenAI's API key, okay? So don't try to use this API key. I will revoke it once the project is over. So now what to do, I will simply create a new file, Python file, and I will save it as app.py, okay? So this is my app.py file in which all of the logic and implementation will go, okay? First of all, I need to import necessary libraries. For that, what I'll do, I'll import Streamlit as ST, okay? Then I will simply import like audio recorder, okay? From audio recorder Streamlit, yeah, this one. This actually will help us to like record the audios inside of the UI, okay? So that's really important for our application. Then I need to import OpenAI. And after that, I need to import Base64, which I'll be using later on, okay? So these are all the necessary libraries which we want. So to use these libraries, what you need to do, you need to open up a new terminal, okay? And here you need to simply pip install streamlit space this thing audio recorder streamlit and open AI. Okay, only these three things. You'll hit enter and it will 
download and install all the necessary modules for you so i already have done that so it says like requirements already satisfied okay so all right that's it for the setup part of like uh, this project okay our project is set up and ready to go now let's just see how to like design the front end of this application okay as you have seen in the demo of this video for that i will simply create a main function i'll say define like main okay then what i'll do i'll simply first like uh, try to set up this sidebar so i'll say st dot sidebar dot title okay and that would say like api key configuration okay and that would take in like api key so i'd say api key equals st dot sidebar dot text underscore input and here i can say like enter your open ai api key and type would be like password okay so we don't want that to be visible on the screen so that's it for like our uh sidebar okay so if we just try to call the main function down here save this file then let me just try to run this application and see like how it looks so i can simply open up a new terminal and i can say streamlit or run app dot py okay yeah my app is running you can see right over here that our sidebar has been successfully created okay in like just a couple of lines so that's really the beauty of this like streamlet okay then we need to like design the front part of our application which will like go in right here okay so for that i can say like st dot title okay and i'm going to give my application the name of aurora speak easy okay and then i can say st dot write just to like write on the screen okay and here i can say like this thing hi there click on the voice recorder to interact with me okay how can i assist you today so yeah if i just try to save this and just view what's on the screen now so yeah it would look like this so it's like looking really nice okay now i can just bring recorder on the screen so i can say like recorded audio equals audio recorder okay so if i now refresh my page so this is the thing which will actually record my audio okay so if i just click it so now it's recording the audio and if i just uh, like click it again when it's red so the recording is actually stopped okay so yeah that's it for like our front end part okay then we will have like a couple of like cards on the screen once we're actually the transcription of this audio and another one for like the response that will come back from open ai okay so yeah that's it for the front end part so let's just try to move on to the back end of this application for which we need to actually define a few functions okay first of all i need a function to initialize open ai client so for that what i can say like define setup underscore open ai client and that would take in like api underscore key okay then what i can do i can simply return yeah open ai dot open ai okay that would take in like api key so i can say like api underscore key equals yeah this thing api key okay so our first function is done so now i need a function to transcribe my audio so i can say function to transcribe audio to text yeah right so i can say like function transcribe audio and if you see like the open ai's documentation so it takes in like client as well as well as the audio path okay or audio files so i can say audio path so i can say like with open okay audio underscore path yeah that's fine comma rb as audio file so that would equals to like transcript equals client dot audio dot transcription dot create that's fine model equals whisper one and file will be equals to audio file yeah that's right okay then what we can do we can simply return this transcript okay and from that we can just return the text so that would be fine okay so we are actually going step by step first of all we'll record the audio 
then we will transcribe that audio into text okay then we need to send that text to open ai okay to take back the response for that i need another function so i can say like taking response from open ai okay so for that i can define a function which says like fetch ai response that's fine and that would take in like client and input text then what we can do we can simply like uh, give it like a messages uh okay that's fine i'm actually using like uh, amazon code whisperer the ai coding companion that makes your life hell a lot easier so i would definitely recommend you to check that one out that's really amazing and awesome okay so you can see that it just generated the messages variable for me and then i need a variable which says like response so you can see right over here that it's really amazing so yeah it is actually client.chat.completions.create model is actually gpt 3.5 turbo 1106 and it will take in like the messages as well okay and it says like messages equals messages that's fine so it says like return response dot choices and from the first one we are taking message dot content okay now we are actually getting the response in the form of text now we need to actually convert that text into audio so for that we need another function to convert text to audio that's fine so for that i can say like define text to audio that would take in like client text and audio path okay three things so now what i can do i can simply say like response equals okay client yeah that's fine dot audio dot speech dot create and model equals like this is open ai's model like text to speech okay and there are like a lot of voices you can choose from okay let me show you so if i just say like open ai text to speech model voices okay so this is like text to speech if i go into this one so you can see that this is an alloy voice the sun rises in the east and sets in the west this simple fact has been observed by humans for thousands of years and this is the echo. in the heart of the city there is a large park where people go to relax and enjoy nature the park has a beautiful pond with ducks and swans the library is a quiet and peaceful place where people go to read, study, and learn. The shelves are filled with books on every subject imaginable. Yeah, this is the Fable one, and this is Onyx. The train chugged along the tracks, carrying passengers to their destinations. The rhythmic sound of the wheels on the rails was soothing. This one seems really nice. I love this one. But we are going to use this one, okay? In the kitchen, the aroma of freshly baked bread filled the air. The loaves were golden brown and crusty on the outside and soft and warm on the inside. And this one is like shimmer, you can see right over here. The beach was a popular spot on a hot summer day. People were swimming in the ocean, building sandcastles, and playing beach volleyball. I think I like this one, wait a minute. In the heart of the city, there is a large park where people go to relax and enjoy nature. The park has a beautiful pond with ducks and swans. Yeah, I will use this one. I love echo ones, so I can simply say like echo. We will check different ones later on, okay? Then input equals text, okay? So that would be from here, okay? Then what we need to do, we will use like a function which says like response.stream to file and I will give in like the audio path. Okay, so these are the functions that I need actually, okay, to like run my project. So now what I can do here, I can check if the API key is there for that. I can say if API underscore key, okay, then first of all, what we need to do, we need to set up the client, okay, so I can say client equals and I'm calling this function okay this one like uh, set up open ai client and i am providing it with like api key from here okay then we actually will allow the users to record the audio okay so if i just save this thing and come back to my application and refresh the page okay so you won't see any recorder on the screen until and unless user enters any API key, okay? Now the recorder appears. So you can see that it's looking really amazing, okay? Now we need to check if recording is done and available, okay? For that, what we need to do, I can say if 
like recorded audio like it's available okay then i can say audio underscore file and i can like specify it as like audio dot mp3 or dot wave anything okay then we can simply say like with open like audio file wb as f okay then we can simply say that f dot write and record it audio okay that's uh good okay let me just refresh the page suppose that i have entered an api key and i say hello how are you doing anything like that and if i just uh stop it okay so yeah that's fine so now what i need to do i simply need to like transcribe that audio so i'll say transcribe underscore text okay uh then i need to call in like transcribe audio function okay that would take in like the client which we created previously and the audio file so this audio file okay so now we simply need to write like transcribe text that would be equal to this transcribe text then we need to send this transcribe text to open ai to take back the response so for that i can say ai underscore response so yeah i will use this function like fetch ai underscore response client and transcribe text i'm providing it with like this text okay so it will take back the ai response in the form of text then what we can do we can simply like convert this ai response into like audio okay for that first of all i need to specify like response underscore audio file and i can call it as uh, like audio underscore response dot mp3 okay then we need to like convert this into audio so i can say text to audio okay that would take in like client ai response and response audio file okay this actually function will uh, save the audio in like this response audio file so i can simply now say like st dot audio response audio file to actually show it all like streamlit ui okay now i also need to like show like the response on the screen in the form of text for that i can simply say like s t dot right that's fine ai response and that would be like this thing ai response okay. now i think everything is like set up pretty nice so now let's just try to run this thing okay so i will simply refresh my application provide in with my api key right here and after providing with api key if i just like click anywhere else so this like recorder will pop up okay so now if i just say hello ai how are you doing okay so it's running you can see right on the top so this is my transcribed text which is like hello ai how are you doing so it brought back this response so if i just try to play this hello i'm just a computer program so i don't have feelings but i'm here and ready to help you with whatever you need how can i assist you today so yeah that's actually working fine okay so this is the ai response in the form of text so if anyone wants the response to like copy and paste it somewhere else so they can do that as well okay so this is actually working as expected so now let's just try to uh tweak with like a couple of things i actually want whenever a user speaks and a response is like generated so user does not have to play like it manual rather than it should play automatically okay we don't want like a plain text this way this is not looking that nice we want like uh, a couple of cards one on the top and one on the bottom okay so let's just try to make it like uh, visually more appealing to the users so okay so for that what we can do first of all i will create a function for like text cards okay so i can say like uh, text cards function okay to like uh, make our text cards more beautiful and visually appealing so i can define a function that says like create text underscore card okay and that would take in like text and title i would say like would be equals to like uh, response that's fine for now okay then what i can do here i can simply provide it with like a plain html okay so that i can make uh, this thing like more beautiful okay so which will actually have 
uh, the styling as well, okay? Like box shadow, transition, border radius, padding, and then we have like a uh, hover effect, then we can like say container padding, etc. Then here the title will go and here the text will go, okay? So that's the idea of this thing to implement the plain HTML inside of like our streamlit UI. So after that, I can simply say like this is fine st.markdown card html and unsave allow html equals true so now what i can do i can simply make my text like look visually appealing okay so after like this transcribe text okay instead of like st.write i can simply call that function so i can say create card text okay that would take in like transcribe text which will come here and my title would be like transcribe text okay or you can simply say like audio transcription that would also be fine so if i just save this and go back let me just copy this api key and refresh my page okay and if i say hello ai what's the difference between a lamb and a sheep it's running you can see right over here so now you can see that our audio transcription is like looking like really nice and it's actually like looking really great okay so now same we can do with like this thing which is our air response in the form of text so for that what i can do i can simply do same with this thing as well okay so like where i am writing my ai response in the form of like st dot write okay i can say create text card and i can provide with like this text and i can say like ai response okay now let's just try to see how our response appears now okay so if i just like refresh my page once again paste in my api key okay hello ai how are you doing so this is our audio transcription okay so this is the audio which it like created if i just try to play this thing hello i'm just a virtual assistant so i don't have feelings but i'm here and ready to help you with anything you need how can i assist you today so now our ai response is also looking really nice compared to the one before okay so now the last thing i need is to make my audio like auto play okay like you talk to any ai assistant like voice assistant like siri or amazon alexa or anything like generally you speak and they bring back the response and it's basically the autoplay feature which is there okay so i want to mimic that functionality as well for that i can create another function which would be like autoplay audio okay so here down i can say autoplay audio function okay yeah then for that what i can say so this function will take in like the audio file okay so i can say with open and i need to open the audio file as f okay then i need to read the audio file uh, i can say as audio underscore file okay then what i can do here i can simply say audio underscore bytes that would be equals to like audio file dot read okay then i can say base 64 underscore audio and i'm using this function okay like uh, encode function from this base 64 library that will take in like audio bytes and then decode it okay then i can give it like plain html i can say audio file okay uh like audio html and that would take in like this audio source would be like data audio forward slash mp3 base 64 and that would take in like this encoded version of the audio okay then we are providing it with like controls that would be autoplay okay we need to autoplay our file then we simply want to use like st.markdown to show the audio html and unsafe allow html equals true okay so that's it actually so where i was using like st.audio instead of that what i'll do i'll use this function which is like autoplay audio and that would take in like response audio file let me just save this thing come back here uh, copy this once again refresh my page and i can say to the ai assistant like hello ai 
what's the difference between euro and pound so you can see that this is our audio transcription i'm saying like what's the difference between euro and pound main difference between the euro euro and the pound pounds is that they are the respective currencies of different countries. The euro is the official currency of the eurozone, which includes 19 of the 27 European Union member states. All right, you might have noticed that it auto-played the audio, okay? So let me just try to give it like uh, another prompt, okay? So I could say like, hello AI, tell me a joke. So this is the audio transcription you can see right over here, okay? Sure, how about this one? Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. All right. So you can see that it's auto-playing the audio, okay? And this is our AI response. So this application is actually now looking really great. And we have reached the end of this amazing project, okay? So all right, guys. That marks the end of our, this video. I hope you learned a lot about like how to record audio in Streamlit then how to convert that audio, like transcribe that audio into text, then send it to like open AI, okay, to take back the response, then returning the response back in the form of audio, and then auto playing the audio, okay? So this was like an amazing project for anyone who wants to learn more about like whisper, text to speech, and different models that open AI is using. So I hope you love this project. Give it a like subscribe and comment down for more amazing projects okay thank you so much have a good day bye